Hey, you there. Yes, you. Do you want high FPS in H1Z1? Well, then you have to come to the right place. But first, let's roll the intro. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a few things about H1C1, how to tweak and how to get better FPS in H1C1. Uh, some of you guys have trouble uh, with FPS or you have all the systems and you cannot really run H1C1 on a high FPS. Uh, these are a few things which you can tweak and well for some of you it will work, for some of you it won't work because you might have an older system. Uh, but uh, we will see what we can do. So, first of all, you want to start with uh, going to your uh, part disk. I mean, actually, yeah, local disk, <laughs> not part disk. Oh god! Uh, so you go to your uh, uh, disk. You go to your program files. You go to your Steam and Steam apps and Common, and there you will see the folder H1C1. So, first of all, uh, you're gonna go to your user options. First thing you will do is go to properties. You want to make sure you have this turn off for now. So once you have done that, click apply, go OK. Here are all the tweaks which you can do. There are a lot of tweaks and uh, I will explain a bit about this, about that, and we will find a way. So first of all, you will see uh, maximized. Maximized means pretty much maximized window. So you want to turn that on. Full screen white and full screen height. These are uh, your resolution. You want to, uh, yeah, you want to do this as last resort, but for now put it on 1080, and uh, yeah, this you want to do that as last. This window white and height are uh, windowed resolutions. When you play on windowed, you actually can turn on <coughs> uh, borderless window, uh, full screen. I mean. It's really easy uh, put just windowed behind it and there you have full screen windowed and that's pretty all but make sure you have this windowed white and height on your uh, max resolution else you will have see a border and it will be a little bit smaller and will not be your full screen and that's not what you want of course um, you also have HD Pixel Plus. What that means is uh, your sharpness from your pixels. Uh, what you want to do is you want to keep it well, between 1 and 0 0.8. Because if you put it too low, it's going to look really bad. And that's not what you want. I mean, you want more performance. Then you probably should put it around the same amount as me as 0 0.85. Uh, the next section. This is the most important one. Uh, effects quality, well this explains pretty much about everything, I mean it's effects, it uh, means gun shooting, flashbangs, no not flashbangs but the effect of the flashbangs, uh, smoke grenades, uh, fire, that's uh, small stuff, uh, it doesn't take too much uh, performance so, but if you really have a lower MPC I should put it on too. I don't. I have an average PC. It's not the best and not the worst. It runs great on H1C1. I always get about 80 FPS outside the city, and in the city about 40, 45. So that's great for me. Um, next one, texture quality. What texture quality does? It explains out itself. It is your textures. Well, I have mine on three. Why? Because I'm not a graphics whore, but I, <laughs> I kind of want it to look okay. So I don't want it. Yeah, I want just get a nice feeling about H1C1. I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse, well, unless you play BR, you should, but it really gives that uh, feeling to you, to, uh, to H1C1. Okay, next one, shadow quality. If you have a really well, low-end system, you should put it on zero. If you have an average or above, you should probably put it around 1. Don't put it too high because shadow quality is going to take a lot of your GPU. So I'm just going to keep it on 0 because I, had, I would like to have uh, high FPS. 
Next one is when the distance. This is a tricky one because you wanted this to be high at the beginning of if you play BR. You want to see where you're going. So what I always do is I will I put it first on high, so on 2000, so I can see good where I'm going to land. It's going to be important, especially when you play with your friends. When once I land, I turn it down real quick to like. Uh, 800, 900, 1000, it really depends how fast I am and uh, it gives me a huge performance boost. So when you land or when you play with survival, put it just low. Maximum FPS, well, I just like to have it on high, it's really no, uh, doesn't really matter. Unless you have it on 60, you want it to have high, you want to be it uncapped, used a lot. It's it's out, I mean, uh, third off. Model quality, I like to have mine high. Because I like the looks of my model, because you have skins and stuff. <laughs> I just want to look, uh, look good. And, uh, well, if you still have a lower amp performance PC, just turn it to uh, 1 or 2, it really uh, depends. Uh, I've read it on Reddit, this thing. And uh, the developer said it takes a lot of performance if you turn that on. And so uh, that's why I disabled it. What it basically does, it's a fog in the shadow. I mean, all the way around, shadow in the fog. And uh, you just turn that off. This is ambient occlusion. Turn it off, it's gonna hit your computer real hard if you have turned it on. Better cough off, so it speaks for itself. Keep it on 75. Lighting quality, turn it off. It's lighting quality, you know. <laughs> Uh, floor quality. Well, this is an important one. <clears throat> what this does, it turns off, uh, when you've turned it off, it turns a few brushes off. You see you see less grass, you basically you see barely any grass, but it's just really good for a high FPS. So, uh, I would recommend you to turn this off, so uh, you can see people laying in some bushes, not all bushes, but some of them. And when people turn this on, they will see the bush and they will go lie down in it. And when you're in the distance, you can see him lying down over there. So it gives you advantage. Particle lot. Well, just turn it off. Uh, V-Sync. <laughs> Don't turn this off on, please. Because if you turn this off, this, this will screw up your mouse movement. And it just feels so weird. Don't, don't turn it off. I don't. There's no reason to turn this on. <clears throat> I've put mouse smoothing into this one because I want to f uh, force it to put out mouse smoothing. Game mouse per personal preference. Uh, we, we go to a few tweaks to the general section. Mouse raw input. It's <coughs> it says for itself. It enables the raw input, and it will f uh, feel a little bit more smooth. Uh, reduce input lag. Turn it off. And uh, yeah, that's basically it and you have some settings here mouse sensitivity if you want to tweak that but you also can do that in game but make sure if you want uh, like one sensitivity put it in here so it will always be this sensitivity uh, why will it always be this sensitivity because we're gonna first save if you get an error could be you have got to put off we only just make sure you control a copy everything Exit the window and uh, make sure you turn this off. So I turn it off. Control A again, Control V. Then you have your settings. Save. And then you go to properties again and turn read only on. What this is going to do, it's going to save all your settings which you have placed in your user options. When you start it up, it will always be the same, which you put in the user options. If you put this off, and you change the setting, it will change in the user options. So that's not what you want. You want to have read only on. Okay, so I showed you a few tweaks about uh, the user options. We have a little bit more. There are Steam launch commands. Steam launch commands. You go to Steam library, go to H1C1. Hey, there's an update. I go to properties and uh, set launch options. As you can see, I already placed mine in the launch options. <clears throat> Explains about itself. No splash. No splash in intro. Uh, no pass. CPU count. This is an important one. What this does, it's going to use your uh, all your CPUs. So you want, uh, I don't know how many cores you have. You need to find out by your own. 
And if you have six, like me, you put in CPU count six. Max memory, you have, I have uh, 12 gig. So you, if you want to know how to calculate that, it's really easy. Go to calculator and one gig is 1024. And if you have eight gig, you put eight gig. I have 12, 12 so I put 12. Ta-da, and there you have it, man. You're gonna put that number behind max mem. Extract, put it the same as your CPU count. And as last, we have the malloc. Uh, the malloc is gonna be your system. Malloc is system, what this does, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right, but it's the memory alkylator. The memory alkylator of your system. This is gonna run better your memory. Let's say it like that. Uh, once you have done that, just pissed. Okay. Close. First of all, you're gonna need to tweak your settings by your own. Don't copy my settings. Uh, you will. Well, you could first start copying my settings and see how it goes. If it runs smoother, it runs better. High FPS. Just keep it like that. Don't go mess around too much unless you runs really crap. You need to find your own settings. Uh, of course, remember, this game is still in early access. You're gonna have bad FPS in city. There's not much we can do about about about, about the city performance. It's something what the devs need to fix. The only thing you can do is what I showed you, a few tricks, tweaks in the user options and uh, launch commands. And further, you can, well, you could run, for example, Racer Game Booster. I will provide it in the description. And what Razer Game Booster does is uh, it will remove certain services from your background when you're running the game. And you also have some game game modes uh, which you can, I don't know, something game desktop or something like that. What it does, it removes all the arrow, all the stupid things in the background and uh, it will get your maximum performance. But most of the time, only low end users have uh, profit from that not uh, high-end uses so guys I have explained more, pretty much anything what you can do about h1c performance FPS boosting and there for the rest is not much what you can do unless there's something I don't know of uh, guys if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time